how's it guys so in another another knot video here you guys have seen the fg knot now that's applicable across the board these are mainly we're doing them with slightly thicker line purely for visual aspects but also it adds to what we're doing on the tanacom reel uh, so this is 1.3 fathom 60 kilos uh, beautiful beautiful line very nice for your bottom fishing and things like that um, obviously we have used it for uh, a full nylon jacket trace uh, for when you fish with the diamonds and stuff like that you saw Ray using this stuff it's beautiful it stretches nicely so for handling it anyway that's beside the point 1.3 more nylon we're going to be tying this to a hundred pound braid now the hundred pound is attached to our Tenacom 1000 reel this is going to be a PR knot so first thing you need for this is a bobbin you want a bobbin that's got a lot of weight to it nice and heavy uh, and something that you can tension up like that. I have used uh, cheaper fly tying bobbins, they do work, but you do need to, to work with them a little bit to get the tension right, and this has got weight. So now, simple action with the bobbin, you're gonna thread it through the little needle here in the front, you're gonna wrap it into that little o-ring there, you want it nice and tight, see how it slots in, like that. Now you're gonna wind, loosen the tension off. We're gonna wind this round quite a few times. I'll try and do it to the camera. Uh, just to get it wrapped around there. Wrapped around. You wanna keep a bit of tension on it because you are gonna be winding it off with tension, so you wanna put it on with tension. So it sits nice and strongly on the on the bobbin. Okay. That looks like round about enough. It's not an exact science, so I'm going to put on about that much. Now you want to tension it up with a knob. So you can see it actually takes a bit of t pressure to actually pull that off there, which is exactly what we want. So this thing, not all about friction. So as long as you've got friction, you're going to have a good knot going. There's nice tension there. Okay, so the PR is very similar to the FG in, in style. Put that down there. Except instead of you crisscrossing the line over, you're using a bobbin to tension it up and down. So, just do this like this. Actually, no need. Let go! Out of the floor! So, PR. Might be a little bit rusty on this one. So, the PR, we're going to be wrapping your braided line up and back down again, similar to the FG. So, starting like this, pinch your lines like that, and you're gonna be spinning around one way up, and then the same way back down, but over itself. So, let's start. Now, your bobbin gives you the weight to keep your tension on your line. So you just wanna keep, make sure you're doing it right the whole way along. And you just wanna pinch it at the bottom so it doesn't come off. It's going to be a little bit tricky for you guys to see, so I'll stop every now and again. That's about how long you want it. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Now, to control your thing back down, you're going to put your fingers there so it can't keep going back up, and you're going to spin exactly the same way. Okay, so finger, you just spin, and you see how it's wrapped over itself like there nicely. And the bobbin does most of the work, most of the work for you. Just keep going, and you just want to wind it wind it back down yep. well, keep keep going until we get to that point there where the line starts unwinding on itself then you let go pinch there and you're just gonna pull off the rest of the line so that's that's the work done now of the bobbin now we're gonna do exactly the same as we did with the FG with the finishing just, just gonna make sure this Okay, so now you can see we've got our line wrapped all the way up and all the way down, and that's with tension, so not nice and stiff, but not not stiff that it's going to affect you. You still, as you can see, it's still got flexibility, but you want it, you don't want it loosely wrapped. Okay, so now we're going to take our ample tag end, and hold it up like that. You're going to do exactly the same as we did last time, and do your half hitch, and that's going to tighten down onto the knot like that. Just like there. Now that you can test, you can pull as hard as you want. That's it. 
uh, tight like that. And then we're just going to do the same as we did last time. Don't worry too much about splits, you're going to wind round. Wind like that. Up like that. Now I like finishing this on with quite a few half fitches just because it looks nice and sexy. So we're going to do around about 10 on here. You don't want to do too many because then you kind of avoid the Chinese finger trap effect. So just going to keep going like that. Keep going. And if you're doing it right, if you're doing it the right way around, you'll see that your half hitches actually spiral around like that as they go around. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they keep going around. So I like to do a full set of spirals and you, you're all good to go. So, now we've done that many half hitches around there. I've got no idea how many that was, but it's uh, more than enough. You want to do at least, at least four. You're going to trim your tag in, just like that. And then you're going to do exactly the same as the FG. Just going to do a few more half hitches on here, onto, onto your mainline braid. So, around about three or four, thereabouts. And now we're going to do that same uni knot with the risotto finish. So wind through here, let's do five times, two, four, five, and one for luck. And then when we tighten it down, let's do a little loop around my shoe here. Just keep a nice tension. We're going to go and risotto it. So we're going to tie it around itself, unwind it backwards. See like that? So you got your loop, put your finger there, and your loop will pull into itself. Then that we can just tighten up so you get a nice little bullet shape. Trim that off. And then what you're going to do is cut that to length. For the deep dropping stuff, we normally use about 15 meters. Just going to trim this off here so you would trim it. And you got your little tag in that sits there. That you can burn with a lighter. Obviously use your fingers there like we mentioned with the FG. So if your fingers burn, you know your braid is going to burn. And that's your PR knot. Nice and slim all the way through. There's no knot like the FG. No knot in the actual nylon, your leader or anything. And that twists around beautifully like that. You can see those half hitches going around there. Then your few more and then your risotto finish there on the front. It makes it a nice smooth knot whether it's going forward or backwards. Nice and easy through the guides and things like that. Now, that's onto a leader material like that. If you're going to do it, you can actually join your backing and your main line or backing and your top shot like this as well. Especially if you're using two different diameters. It works better onto a thicker knot like that. But I have used this onto your normal, say your 50 pound backing onto your 50 pound top shot in braid. And then all you're going to do is just finish that off slightly differently. Instead of trimming your the line you're attaching to, you just do another risotto onto that so they both butt into each other. But basically, that's your little PR knot. Very similar to your FG. You see there we can do a direct comparison. Your FG crosses over itself so it uses less surface area and your PR goes more surface area along like that keeping it tensioned like that. So this, this digs into nylon beautifully. This goes a lot better onto your extremely heavy line. It work, works, works well. But really, in my opinion, I've used the FG. I've never had an issue with it. I've used the PR. I've never had an issue with it. So do whichever one's easier for you to tie. Um, and then just do a little bit of practice. But you can see they're both from there down. They're exactly the same. And it's really just the top, top that's different. So this has got more line pack like that ft is more crisscrossed so testing wise they're going to both break at like 99 percent knot strength maybe even 100 um but yeah ft and pr lovely knots to tie cheers guys mm -hmm.